Hello and welcome back. This is MTGO Legacy Event number three, Rock vs. Mud, round three, game one. Uh, this is our hand. This is our opening hand, and it's just fine. It curves one and two. We are going to be able to play swords. We are on, I believe we're on the draw for this match. I don't remember entirely. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like I clipped over and started the recording a little bit late, but I mean... We we have a fine hand. I mean, we have swords, we have Bob. We can't cast our Liliana, but we're only a black off from that. We have Bob drawing two cards. We can pulse, so... I mean, we can, we can interact with our opponent with what they do. I mean, the worst thing that could possibly happen is that they go show and tell, drop in Emrakul, because we have a Liliana, but we don't have the black for it. And without that black for it, we can't play it. And chances are, if he's shown telling that early, he probably has at least one protection spell and is hoping that we are not a Knight of the Reliquary deck. Unfortunately for him, we are, but fortunately enough, we don't have one. So, I'm going to move on. Alright, welcome back. This is the uh, end of his second turn, or first turn. We were on the play. Second turn. Yeah, second turn. I'm slow. Uh... So, we have the ability to fetch here, and that's the plan. Um, that being said, he's played a Crucible of War, or yeah, he played Crucible last turn. Um, first turn Crucible, second turn Lodestone Golem, which makes it so we can't play our swords. Our problem here is the fetch choice. Uh, we go ahead and fetch out this Scrubland. The reason why that's incorrect is we already have a white source in hand, and we have a black source. What we're doing is we're giving him his Wasteland that he could potentially have in his three cards and or off the top of his deck. We're giving it two different targets, basically giving him the option to cut us off of a color. Or off of a, a land, yes, but also a color. Uh, what we could have done is fetched out the Bayou, since we still have the white source. And our choices are between Bob and Swords, and this is why we, we made this decision. Like, had we decided that we're going the Bob route, the correct choice is to fetch a bayou. It's the correct choice just simply for the fact that, hey, look, it doesn't give him, it gives him one card to get rid of instead of having a choice which could hurt us. I mean, granted, either, what he doesn't know is that either one will hurt us, but it doesn't give him the idea that, hey, look, hitting one of his colors will hurt him. It's a, it's, it's a way to seem less enticing towards actually attacking my mana base. Granted, if he does, he's only got two mana, which means that he doesn't have a play, which means we do get to sword this thing the next turn. But then after that, he just gets to start ripping into us anyway. So, if since we do, since swords is one of the options, getting the scrub land there is fine. I just don't think that it's the correct choice since we do we are going to play Bob. Yep, we were gonna play Bob. I think that Bob was probably the better choice. But then again, he's only got three cards in hand, only four mana that'd be available to him. We can play Bob the next turn and then have Liliana up the turn after that. So, of the cards that we'd want to be playing next, uh, playing the swamp or playing the forest makes him want to blow up the plains. So, I mean, it's all a matter of choice. Because he played Metalworker, we're entirely fine. Here we are at about the four minute twenty five second mark. Uh, what we have here is a situation where. He's got zero cards in hand. This Crucible is actually rendered pretty much useless as he doesn't have any land in his yard. I mean, if he draws a land, yes, he has access to the mana. But, I mean, barring him drawing Wasteland, we're not too really we're not too much really worried about anything. We have all of our mana. We have a Liliana at two. So we can kill off this Metal Worker whenever we'd like. It's his turn attack step. And we are going to block. And the reason we're going to block is because... He's drawing one card per turn. He's only got five mana available to him right now, and we have access to Bob next turn. That means that we're going to be drawing two cards to his one uh, and have the ability to draw an extra card. That being said, any creature that he draws, he can put into play and swing at us. We can't block the, or we can't kill the creature, but the only creature that he has that we actually care about would be another Lodestone Golem. And the only reason why we care about that is because Bob can't kill it if need be. We, we have to draw something bigger. 
and that's fine. I mean, we're at 18 life. We have a little bit of a cushion there. So it's one of those things that we just, it's a choice in why we blocked with Bird. Basically, we're saying that our two cards will always be better than his one card, even with his ability to swing with creatures the turn they come into play. So, I'm going to go ahead and pause it. Here we are, just under 540. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and let this play out. We, the plan here, we screw up a little bit. Uh, the reason why we screw this up is because we don't actually remember to play our land for turn. Um, that's the biggest mistake that we've made here. Uh, everything so far is fine. We've pulsed out the Crucible. We're attacking with just Bob for three damage. I mean, next turn we can attack with with our two guys. The plan is to render his mana base as weak as possible. What I screw up on is right here. I mean, we're perfectly fine just wasting out this two land. If we waste out the two land, I'm going to pause his vi or my video. If we waste out the two land, because what I'm worried about is Worm Coil Engine. I don't have a way to interact with it. There's not really a uh, preferred way outside of Swords, which one of them's already in the yard. We don't have any filtering outside of Bob. And Worm Coil Engine, I can only kill the Worm Coil Engine with Knight, which means that I have to waste more time. And then I have to deal with two 3-3s. Three in the meantime, Bob is going to be killing us. So Worm Coil Engine is really the only threat that I have to worry about here. Um, that being said, we could easily 5-6-6 six, six us, but in three turns we should be able to kill him. So, the waste choice is actually the City of Traders, which would give him 1, 2, 3, 4 mana, and then playing the Caracas and blowing up the Diamond, which cuts him down to 2 mana. Uh, 2 mana, not as good for him. If he draws an Artifact Land, then he gets 4 mana, but still, that's only a Lodestone Golem, which he doesn't have in play now. So, I mean, looking at it this way, had he had the Worm Coil Engine, it would have come down. So he's probably got like a, a mirror, not Superion. Uh, forgot the name. The mirror that drops four guys into play. Forgot its name. Oh well. Um, but that would be the correct choice. I'm gonna go ahead and let the video play a little bit more, and we can find out if I ever remember that I have not played a land for turn. Nope. So that was our mistake. All based off of us just not playing a land. Because of that, he's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 mana. If he draws a land and that had been a Worm Coil Engine, which it would have been on, in play already, then we would have been in a situation that we probably wouldn't have won. Um, that being said, we did win. Our opponent didn't draw anything relevant and realized that we were just going to start nuking him. Uh, probably would have gone for the second Cavern of Souls and popped at the Diamond the next turn. Because I think I realized that I was actually supposed to blow the Diamond up. Um... Him being stuck at two lands and just being a uh, City of Traders means that if he does play another land, this is going to die. He can get at most four mana that turn and then have two mana available to him. And that's if he plays an artifact land. So, yeah. I will see you again in just a moment.